Welcome to today's video about the cancer warning signs one month before they manifest. You've certainly heard of cancer, right? Have you ever wondered if your body can give any signs a month or a few months before you have cancer? If you experience any of these signs that I'm going to tell you about in this video, you should seek medical attention immediately because they could be signs that cancer is about to develop. These warning signs might manifest as early as one month prior to a cancer diagnosis. Okay, now let's dive in. 1. Persistent unexplained weight loss. Unexplained weight loss can often slip under the radar, especially if it happens gradually. However, understanding its significance and acting upon it promptly can have a profound impact on one's health journey, particularly when it comes to battling diseases like cancer. This kind of weight loss is your body's way of signaling that all is not well. Cancer cells can demand a significant amount of your body's energy supply, and they can also release substances that change the way your body makes energy from food, leading to weight loss. One of the pivotal reasons to take sudden weight loss seriously is its potential to flag cancer before other symptoms appear. Early detection of cancer greatly enhances the effectiveness of treatment and can significantly improve survival rates. For those already diagnosed with cancer, a drop in weight might suggest that the cancer is progressing, necessitating a revaluation of treatment strategies. This information is invaluable for doctors to tailor a treatment plan that is both effective and manageable. Moreover, being in a better physical state can make a huge difference in how well someone responds to cancer treatment. Treatments like chemotherapy, radiation, or surgery can be incredibly demanding on the body. Patients who maintain a healthier weight often experience fewer side effects and complications. They are also in a better position to recover more quickly post-treatment. In addition to its implications for cancer treatment and recovery, addressing unexplained weight loss can also improve overall quality of life. Weight loss can lead to fatigue, weakness, and a decreased ability to perform daily activities, affecting one's sense of well-being. By seeking medical advice early, it's possible to identify the underlying cause, whether it's cancer or another health issue, and take appropriate action. This might include nutritional counseling, adjustments to diet, or specific treatments aimed at mitigating weight loss and improving energy levels. Therefore, if you notice yourself or someone else losing weight without trying, it's essential to see a doctor. Health professionals can run tests to find out what's causing the weight loss. These might include blood tests, imaging scans, or other diagnostics to look for signs of cancer or other health conditions. The sooner the cause is identified, the quicker and more effectively it can be addressed. 2. Excessive fatigue. Feeling extremely tired all the time, more than what's normal for you, can be a sign that something isn't right in your body. While it's common to feel tired after a long day or a bad night's sleep, excessive fatigue is different. This kind of tiredness doesn't go away with rest or sleep, and it might be a clue that your body is dealing with something like cancer. It's really important to listen to your body and notice when something feels off, like when you're much more tired than usual for no clear reason. Cancer can cause this deep level of tiredness because it takes a lot of energy from your body. Sometimes, cancer cells can affect the way your body makes energy, leaving you feeling drained. Also, the body might be working really hard to fight off the cancer, which can make you feel even more tired. But remember, feeling super tired can also be caused by lots of other things, not just cancer. Stress, other illnesses, and different health conditions can also make you feel very tired. That's why it's so important to talk to a doctor if you're feeling this way. They can help figure out why you're so tired by asking questions, doing tests, and checking your overall health. If the doctor finds out that your tiredness is because of cancer or another health issue, they can start helping you feel better. This might include treatments for cancer or advice on how to manage your energy levels better. Plus, catching any illness early, including cancer, can make a big difference in how well treatments work. So, if you're feeling extremely tired all the time and it's not like you, don't ignore it. Seeing a doctor can help you find out what's going on and get you the right help to start feeling more like yourself again. Remember, paying attention to what your body is telling you is a key part of taking care of your health. 3. Changes in skin. Noticing changes in your skin, like new moles popping up, 
changes in the ones you already have, getting rashes without a clear reason, or seeing your skin and eyes turn a bit yellow, which doctors call jaundice, can be your body's way of waving a red flag. Skin changes can happen for lots of different reasons, but they're definitely not something to just shrug off. Your skin is like a big billboard that can show signs of what's going on inside your body, including warning signals that something might be off with your health. For example, new or changing moles can sometimes be a sign of skin cancer, which is why keeping an eye on them is so important. If a mole gets bigger, changes color, or starts to look odd in any way, it's time to get it checked out. And it's not just about moles. Other skin changes can be clues too. A rash that doesn't have an obvious cause or yellowing of your skin and eyes might point to issues with your liver or other parts of your body. Remember, your skin's changes could be due to lots of different things, not just cancer. Things like allergies, infections, or other skin conditions can also cause these signs. But what's really important is not to ignore them. A doctor can take a closer look, maybe do some tests, and figure out exactly what's going on. They can tell you if it's something simple that needs a cream, or if it's something more serious that needs more attention. Getting to a doctor early if you notice these kinds of changes can make a big difference. Early detection is key to dealing with many health issues, including cancer. So if your skin starts acting differently, showing new signs, or just doesn't feel right, don't wait. Make an appointment to see a doctor. Taking action early can help keep you healthy and give you peace of mind. Plus, taking care of your skin is part of taking care of your whole self, so it's always worth paying attention to what it's telling you. 4. Persistent cough or hoarseness. Having a cough that just won't quit or a voice that stays hoarse for weeks isn't just annoying. It could be a signal from your body that something serious is going on. While it's true that coughs and a scratchy throat can come from lots of less serious things like colds or allergies, if these symptoms hang around for a long time without getting better, they deserve a closer look. Persistent coughing or ongoing hoarseness can sometimes be early warning signs of lung cancer or throat cancer. It's a bit scary to think about, but catching these kinds of cancers early can make a big difference in how well treatments work. That's why paying attention to what seems like just a stubborn cough or a hoarse voice is so important. But remember, having a cough doesn't mean you definitely have cancer. Coughs are a common symptom for many conditions, most of which are not cancer-related. Things like acid reflux, smoking, or even just the air being too dry can make you cough or feel hoarse. However, what sets the alarm bells ringing is when these symptoms stick around for a long time without any clear reason. If you or someone you know can't seem to shake off a cough or hoarseness, it's a good idea to see a doctor. They can ask questions, check things out, and maybe run some tests to see what's causing it. Finding the reason behind a lingering cough or hoarseness can help catch serious conditions like cancer early on when they're more treatable. So don't just ignore a cough that doesn't go away or a voice that's been hoarse for too long. Getting it checked out isn't just about easing symptoms. It's about listening to your body and taking care of your health. Remember, you're the best advocate for your own health, so speaking up about changes like these can be a key step in staying well. 5. Changes in bowl or bladder habits. When your bathroom habits start to change, like if you're suddenly dealing with ongoing diarrhea, constipation, or if the color of your pee or stool looks different, it's not just a minor inconvenience. It might be your body trying to tell you something important. These kinds of changes can sometimes be a sign of something more serious going on, like colon cancer, bladder cancer, or prostate cancer. It's pretty normal for everyone's bowl or bladder habits to vary a bit from day to day based on what you eat or how much you're drinking. But if you notice consistent changes that just don't go back to what you consider normal for you, it's worth paying attention to. For example, colon cancer might make your poop look narrower than usual or cause blood in your stool while bladder or prostate cancer might change how your pee looks or make going to the bathroom more difficult. Even though these symptoms can be scary to think about, not every change means you have cancer. Lots of less serious things can cause changes in your bowl or bladder habits, like infections, certain foods, or even just stress. But that's why it's so important to talk to a doctor if these changes don't go away. They can help figure out what's causing the symptoms and if it's something that needs more attention. 
Doctors might ask you a bunch of questions about what you've noticed and do some tests to get to the bottom of it. Catching any kind of cancer early can make a huge difference in how well treatments work, so getting checked out as soon as you notice something's off is really important. Plus, even if it turns out to be something less serious, getting help can make you feel more comfortable and put your mind at ease. So, if you see changes in your bowl or bladder habits that stick around, don't ignore them. Getting to a doctor and talking about what's happening is a key step in taking care of your health. Remember, you know your body best, so when something seems off, it's always better to check it out. 6. Difficulty Swallowing Having trouble swallowing, or dysphagia, is when eating doesn't feel as easy as it should. You might feel like food is stuck in your throat or chest, or you might cough or choke when you're trying to eat. While it might seem like a small thing, difficulty swallowing can actually be a sign of something more serious, like cancer in the throat, esophagus, the tube that connects your throat to your stomach, or even the stomach itself. This symptom might not seem like a big deal at first, but it's not something to brush off. If you notice it's hard to swallow and it doesn't get better, it's important to pay attention to what your body is trying to tell you. Cancer can make swallowing difficult by causing changes in the tissues or by making it harder for the muscles involved in swallowing to work right. But just like with other symptoms, having trouble swallowing doesn't automatically mean you have cancer. Other, less serious things can also make swallowing difficult, like infections, acid reflux, when stomach acid moves up into your throat, or even just tension in the muscles around the throat. That's why it's key to see a doctor if you're having a hard time swallowing. They can ask you questions, check your health, and do some tests to find out what's causing the problem. Getting help for difficulty swallowing is important not just to figure out if it's cancer or something else, but also because it can affect your health in other ways. If swallowing is hard, you might not eat as much as you should, which can lead to weight loss and not getting enough nutrients. Plus, constantly coughing or choking when eating can be dangerous and stressful. So if swallowing feels harder than it used to, don't wait to see if it goes away on its own. Talking to a doctor can help you get to the bottom of it, whether it's something simple or something that needs more treatment. Remember, catching any health issue early, including cancer, gives you the best chance of dealing with it successfully. Plus, getting the right help can make eating easier and less stressful, so you can focus on enjoying your food and staying healthy. 7. Unexplained pain or discomfort Feeling pain or discomfort that just doesn't seem to go away, and you can't figure out why, is something to take seriously. This kind of pain, especially if it's hanging around without an obvious cause, might be your body's way of signaling that something's not right. In some cases, this could be a sign of cancer. The reason behind this pain can vary depending on where in your body it's happening. Sometimes, a tumor might be growing and pressing against nerves or organs, which causes the pain or discomfort you're feeling. It's really important to understand that pain can be a complex thing. Not every ache or pain means cancer, of course. Our bodies can hurt for all sorts of reasons, from simple things like muscle strains to more complicated conditions like infections or other diseases. But when the pain doesn't go away, or it doesn't have a clear reason, it shouldn't be ignored. The location of the pain can sometimes give doctors clues about what might be going on. For example, pain in your abdomen could be related to your stomach or colon, while discomfort in your chest might be connected to your lungs. Knowing where the pain is helps doctors figure out what tests they might need to do to find the cause. If you're experiencing this kind of unexplained, persistent pain, seeing a doctor is a really good idea. They can talk to you about what you're feeling, do a physical exam, and maybe order tests like scans or blood work to get more information. Catching cancer early, if that's what's causing the pain, can make a big difference in how well treatment works. But even if it's not cancer, finding out the reason for your pain is important. Living with constant pain can make life really hard, affecting your mood, your sleep, and your ability to do everyday activities. Getting the right diagnosis means you can start treatment to help relieve the pain and improve your quality of life. So, if you've got pain that's bothering you and doesn't seem to have an explanation, don't just try to tough it out. Getting it checked out can help you find out what's wrong and what you can do about it. Remember, you're the expert on your own body.
When something feels off, paying attention and getting help is the best way to take care of yourself. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video.